Well, imperialism is a system that is defined by expansion. You know, it, 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 it never has enough. And, and so it continues to expand, to take over more land, to take over more peoples, to use the resources, um, on and on and on and on, you know. And so we look back to, I mean, when, I, mean I, I really think that imperialism began with that original fencing off and that original need to expand the farmlands. But it really came into its own um, in Europe, in China, in Mesoamerica, um, but let me speak for Europe because that's what I know about. Um, and that was in the 1500s when people figured out how to get from here to there and how to map it. And then in the 1600s when they figured out that they could go back and, and take over the places that they visualized and they could figure they could get there because they had maps. Um, and so what that has done is set up a dynamic and the uh, incredibly intelligent Arab American social critic Edward Said has said uh, everyone in the world today is affected by empire. You know, there's no stone unturned. There's not a person on the earth who hasn't been negatively affected by empire. And I would add wounded by empire. And so everybody is, you know, obviously if, if you're living in a, a culture that has been in a place and been sustainable for generations and generations and then somebody comes in and they just so outrageously and irrationally tell you you can't do this and take your children away and say you can't speak your language and now we're going to take the gold and we're going to take the bananas and, and we're going to go away and, and use all your things uh, and you're under our control. You know, obviously, that kind of an experience is absolutely devastating to individuals and to a culture. But then on the other side, the people who live in that empire, in order to, because at root in our nature is connection, you know, and is an assumption of connection to other people, to culture, to the earth. And so if the world, the system that we're living in is uh, harming other people, then that's something that, you know, you can't live with that, you know, so you have to dissociate yourself off. So if you look at the people who have been assimilated into empire, and if you look at the imperialists themselves, you find an incredible um, dissociation um, from reality.